Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to, to this event. This event is part of the 150 years of John Lee's Leaps celebration, which is not only highlighting Purdue's remarkable history, but also focusing on what John Leaps Purdue can take to address the world's problems. One of the big problems is the complicated impact of technology on human rights. This is the focus of this evening's talk. My name is Feng Gang Yang. I'm a professor of sociology at Purdue University. This event is sponsored by the College of Engineering and the College of Liberal Arts. Thanks to the engineering dean, Meng Jiang, and also liberal arts dean, David Rangold, for giving me this honor to introduce our speaker. Please allow me to offer some context for today's talk. In the last four decades, China's economy has grown in leaps and bounds. China has become the world's largest, second largest economy since 2010. Hundreds of millions of people have been lifted out of extreme poverty. It has made it possible for millions of young people to go to college, including studying abroad. In 2017, more than 350,000 Chinese students enrolled in American universities, including 3,300 enrolled at Purdue last year. However, the families of these Chinese students are very lucky ones. Only 1% of people in China have a household income more than $80,000. And this number enabled them, the family, to send the son or the daughter to a American university, 1%. It is the best times for this 1% of people who have made it, but it is one of the worst times for hundreds of millions of people who are struggling in the ocean of the so-called socialist market economy. The socialist is so-called because the economy is very much capitalist. In fact, it is crony capitalism. Anyone who holds power can get rich easily. Corruption of Communist Party state officials has become rampant. Air pollution, water pollution, and soil pollution have become severe. The healthcare system is broken. The education system is broken. The welfare system is broken. The poor and the marginalized people abound. Their basic human rights and civil rights have been neglected and have been violated by the rich and the powerful. Mr. Chen Guangcheng was born and raised in a poor and remote village in Shandong province. I'm from Hebei province, also from a village, the neighboring province. He became blind since infancy and was not able to go to school until his late teens, when his family learned about the opening of a school for the blind. But he went all the way to college. Once entered school, he learned fast, even taught himself the law, and became a lawyer, advocating for the poor and the disabled. His effective advocacy won him numerous awards, including Time Magazine, 100 most influential list in 2006. However, his activism upset the party state officials, eventually led to prison for more than four years. After he was released from prison in 2010, his house in his village became a prison. Every day, there were several dozens of thugs hired by the party state preventing him from going out and preventing visitors from going in. 
even the powerful Batman, Christian Bale, and the adventurous CNN news crew could not even get close to his house. The guards even set up a device near his house to jam his cell phone signals so that he would not be able to tell the outside world about his inhumane conditions. On April 20, 2012, Chen Guangcheng made a dramatic escape from 20 months of brutal house arrest, catching the attention of international media. The American embassy in Beijing secured his temporary safety before high-level diplomatic negotiations enabled his exodus to the US. You may read the details of this absolutely amazing stories in Mr. Chen's memoir, The Barefoot Lawyer, A Blind Man's Fight for Justice and Freedom in China. And after his talk, and there you will get a chance to buy a copy of his memoirs, but only a limited number of copies here. So first come, first serve. Chen Guangcheng has established a not-for-profit foundation for human rights in China and serves as a visiting fellow at the Catholic University of America. The, talk, uh, the title of his talk today is Artificial Intelligence and Human Rights. Could the barefoot lawyer have escaped in 2019? And Danica Mills is his assistant and a translator. And let's welcome uh, Mr. Chen Guangcheng. Thank you. Thank谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家
，按照法律允许，盲人可以免费乘坐室内公共交通工具。那么，直到现在，盲人和陪同仍在享受这个福利。I brought officials to court. Helping disabled people reclaim taxes and fees that had been illegally levied against them. In 2003, I brought a successful lawsuit against the Beijing Metro Corporation for illegally charging blind riders. And to this day, blind people and an accompanying traveler can ride public transportation for free in Beijing. These cases received a good effect. Of course, they also helped the government. 和很多利益相关者。零五年，因为山东临沂地区再次爆发暴力寄生，非常惨无人道。我调查发现，约半年内，仅临沂就有十三万多人被强制堕胎或结扎。有足月的孩子催生下来，还活着，就被掐死。六十多万亲友、邻居遭株连，被非法抓捕、关押、酷刑、勒索。因为中共禁止媒体报道计划生育的侵犯人权，我们就把调查报告发到了网上，找华友采访。The government and interested parties became disgruntled. In 2005, the authorities began a violent reproductive planning campaign to enforce the one-child policy in Shandong province where I lived. Upon hearing about the horrors of what was going on, some friends and I began an investigation. We discovered that in six months, over 130,000 people had had forced abortions or were forcibly sterilized. Another 600,000 people were caught up in this dragnet and implicated because of family relations and were detained, held in custody for weeks or months, and often tortured. We often heard as well that babies were born at eight or nine months of pregnancy and were killed by nurses and doctors. Because the CCP forbade media coverage of the abuses in the one-child policy, we released the findings from our investigation online, and also I did an interview with the Washington Post that made a report about our investigations. We reported the party was incensed. I was kidnapped in Beijing and forced back to Shandong <coughs> Where I was held under unlawful house arrest for seven months. China cut off the phone, blocked the phone, and tortured me. Then I was held in solitary confinement for three months. In front of my family, I was constantly asked by the police. The CCP said they didn't know where I was. They cut off the phone line, installed cell phone jammers, ransacked our house, and beat us. I was disappeared in a secret detention facility for three months. When questioned by my family and lawyers, the CC replied that they had no idea where I was. 后来，我被以破坏公共财物、扰乱交通秩序的罪名，构陷入狱四年三个月。我在监狱遭中共指使的狱警、指挥杀人犯把我拖到监室里殴打。左侧肋骨被打骨折，我的律师也多次被殴打。Later, I was falsely accused of destroying public property and disturbing traffic, and was sentenced to four years and three months in prison. I was beaten by inmates on the order of prison wardens, and my lawyers were beaten multiple times when they tried to see me. 我被关押期间，我的妻子、孩子。一直在家，被非法拘禁，仅有几次被押送着到监狱看我。During my imprisonment, my wife and children were also under house arrest at home, and were only allowed to see me a handful of times, each time under escorted guard. 我刑满被中共押送回家，这个时候我发现
，我根本没有自由。中共早已指使，雇佣了几十名共匪和地痞流氓，把我的家变成了监狱，全家再被非法拘禁，不允许任何人靠近。When my four-year <clears throat> sentence was up, I was escorted home, where I found that I was far from free. <clears throat> my home and village had been surrounded by dozens of thugs and hooligans, with sometimes hundreds throughout our village. We were not allowed out, and nobody was allowed in to see us. China continues to cut our calls. In my house, I had a number of cell phones and seven high-tech TVs. 及许多强光灯，看守一层层的，不分昼夜看守着我们的家和村子，切断与外界的联系，殴打、劫掠前来的探访者。The CCP again cut off our phone lines and installed cell phone jammers, along with seven high-definition video cameras and spotlights around our home. The guards ringed our village on duty 24 hours a day. They cut off our contact with the outside and beat up anyone who tried to come see us. 后来，我设法把这种状况通过录像告诉外界。中共恼羞成怒。二零一一年的二月十八日，中共命令政法委带着七八十名土匪。撞开大门，闯进我家，把我爱人打倒在院子里，用被子蒙住。十几个壮汉踩在周围，用脚猛踢他的全身。另外几个中共的爪牙把我打倒在地，啊，用这个抹布塞进我的嘴里，拧着胳膊，勒住脖子，酷刑。After months of this, my wife Wei Jing and I managed to surreptitiously record a video <clears throat> documenting our treatment, which we found a way to get out online. The Communist Party was enraged. On February 18, 2011, 70 or 80 CCP thugs stormed into our home. A dozen of them threw my wife Wei Jing to the ground in the yard. They covered her with a quilt and standing on the edges to muffle her cries, they beat her viciously and kicked her, breaking ribs and fracturing the bone of her eye socket. 剩下的几十名中共强盗则拿着探测器，地毯式的到处寻找他们要的东西。他们拿走了收音机、手机、摄像机等他们认为需要拿走的东西。几小时后，打手们离开。把被打伤的我们锁在家里，不让就医。我爱人的左侧第九和十一肋肋骨被打折，右眼眶的眶骨被打骨折，眼睛黑肿，好久看不到东西。那么像这样的殴打、入室抢劫，一个月内。Another bunch of thugs grabbed me, <coughs> stuffing a dirty rag in my mouth, and beat me and tortured me. The other thugs scoured our home with metal detectors, searching for any equipment we had, like cell phones, radios, and video cameras. After many hours, they left us locked in our home, <coughs> refusing us badly needed medical attention. My wife had two of her ribs broken, and her eye socket was badly damaged, and she could not see for many days. This outrage was repeated multiple times that month. 视频公开后，网友在北京成立了陈光诚关注团。随着关注和前来探访网友的增多，中共雇佣了数百人进行堵截，抢走他们的财物，殴打他们本人。中央统一指挥。在全国范围内围追堵截、勇于探访东市谷的网友们。Despite these vicious attacks, 
the <clears throat> video had already caught the attention of netizens in China. Many people set up groups, free Chenduang Chang groups, with which they, eat, they traveled to our village. Other organizations abroad also caught the, uh, saw the video, and many people tried to make the journey to my village as a kind of protest. These people were routinely beaten up and their families were threatened. Even the actor Christian Bale, known for playing Batman, tried to come and see me. We'll have a, a video. Chinese 坐在床边这就是中国共产党 Despite this situation, we continued <coughs> to find ways to get information out. As a result, on July 28, 2011, the CCP moved into our house where they abused us 24 hours a day face to face, mocking us as we ate and sitting on benches by our bedside as we tried to sleep. This is the, Communist Chi the Chinese Communist Party. 在经过多次失败后,我抓住瞬间的机会,开始逃亡。在接下来的二十个小时,我独自设法翻越八道墙,躲过至少九层看守。
逃出中共的魔爪，在家人、朋友的帮助下到达北京，在美国使馆的协助下摆脱中共的追击，进入大使馆，在美国政府的帮助下来到美国。我的更多经历已经写在我的这个回忆录《The b a f f e t Lawyer》里。We tried many times to escape, all unsuccessfully. Then, finally, after about 20 months, I found an opening, a few seconds of opportunity when a guard was blocking another's view, and I began my escape. Over the next 20 hours, I scaled eight walls and crossed nine rings of guards. I broke three bones in my foot, crawling on my hands and knees out of my village. I finally made it to the American Embassy in Beijing and later to the United States, beyond the reach of the Communist Party. I've written about my escape and my life in China in my memoir, The Barefoot Lawyer. My experience is the one that the Chinese people have seen. In Xinjiang, there are over 100 people who have been arrested for their faith and been put in the prison. There are many Chinese people 和人权律师，因为他们的维护社会公正、协助受害者维权、替受宗教迫害的信仰者辩护等工作，被整体抓捕迫害。My experience is a miniature version of the bigger picture of human rights defenders today in China. Now, over a million people in Xinjiang are detained in concentration camps. Because of their religion, numerous activists and lawyers have been detained en masse for their social justice work, including the, their work defending the rights of religious believers. They are detained in jail in the 自证其罪或甚至悔罪，外还被强制喂食和注射不明药物。In addition to being put in secret jails, tormented and tortured, the CCP uses threats of harm to their families to force activists and lawyers to make self-confessions on the state-controlled media. These people are also forced to take unknown drugs. 专制之下无法治。社会不公的根源是因为中国的政治体制是党国体制，党国体制与正常国家的政府从根本上就是大不相同的。在中国，共产党及其下属的省、县、乡各级党委组织，就像皇帝一样，公然的凌驾于人民、国家、国法和政府之上。There is no rule of law under authoritarianism. The root of these social inequities is China's political system, which is a party state system, differing vastly from what I would call normal countries. In China, the government as such is subordinate to the Chinese Communist Party, which controls all levels of society, from the villages to the center. The Chinese Communist Party and its committee affiliates operate above the people the nation, national security, above government and the law. The Communist Party and its political groups in China cannot be accused of being accused of being accused. In other words, the Communist Party has the biggest crime, the law does not allow it. No CCP affiliate can be sued. If the Communist Party commits a crime, no matter the severity, the law of the nation cannot hold it responsible. China government is only the government to use the power to control people, to protect the political power. From the central to the state, any government is just a single-member government. The real power is in the government. The government is the real power of the government. 政府的法人代表，从国家总理到村长，都
是二把手，一切都要听党的。The government is simply a front for the party, essentially a puppet, a tool through which the party protects its hold on power. Party committees, committees and party secretaries are the real bosses at each level of their authority. So-called legislature representatives, from the nation's premier to village mayors, all are second in command to party secretaries. China has established a government system that is a puppet government. The Chinese government, through the Chinese National Assembly, 控制着国务院办公厅，通过中宣部和下属省市宣传部控制国内所有的，包括网络在内的新闻媒体，成为党的喉舌，禁止批评言论，只能歌功颂德。中共通过中央组织部及下属组织部决定任何一级每一个政府官员的任免。还有统战部、外事部、中央军委，分别控制着人民思想、外交部和国家军委。The CCP has created a system of party organizations that direct the actions of the government. The General Office of the Central Committee controls the General Office of the Government State Council. The Central Propaganda Bureau and its lower-level affiliates. Control all domestic media, including the internet, allowing only praise of the party and its policies. The Central Organization Bureau and its affiliates decide all of the appointments and dismissals of government officials at every level. The United Front Ministry, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the Central Military Committee control the population's thinking, foreign affairs, and the country's military, <clears throat> respectively. 通过政法委控制公检法、司司法部门，重要案件的侦查、起诉、审判，甚至辩护，要怎么做，做到什么程度，司法部门必须听从政法委的命令。The political and judiciary committee controls the public security branches, the prosecutorate, and the judiciary bureaus. When it comes to important cases, the related investigations. Defense and sentencing of these cases all must follow the dictates of the political and judicial committee. 党随意的立法、修法、任意执法和释法，随着公民的迅速觉醒，为了方便迫害觉醒的公民，中共还把原来常用而饱受批评的任意黑帮绑架以。指定监视居住的名义写进了法律，其中包括了可以半年不通知律师和家属的恶法条款，且只要中共想要，可以不断半年半年的滚动延长。The party can arbitrarily create laws, change laws, carry out laws, and interpret laws. For instance, the CCP has written. Its common technique of kidnapping political opponents into the legal into the legal code, calling it quote official residential surveillance. The practice also includes language, which authorizes the party to detain individuals for up to six months without having to notify family, with unlimited possibility for extension. In the law's protection, be it by force, be it by coercion. 任意的抓捕、关押、酷刑、折磨、绑架、失踪、解放、殴打、黑监狱，遍布各地，全国任何地方都可随时成为中共镇压人民的黑监狱或酷刑场所。Under the protection of these <coughs> evil laws, opponents are regularly sent away on quote travel at sensitive times, <coughs> like the anniversary of Tiananmen. Or detained, or disappeared and tortured, or for, forced home from petitioning the government for unresolved official abuse and beaten, or held in secret jails, and at any time, any given location can be transformed into a secret detention facility to torture and oppress the people. 为了专权，中共不断不但在国安法中规定
，所有国家机关、政府部门，随时可变成维护中共专制的特务机关。还在《国家情报法》第七条规定，任何组织和公民都应当依法支持、协助和配合国家情报工作。实际就是要求人民。为维护党的专制统治，随时做特务工作。The law of the People's Republic of China states that any government organ or department can be turned into a spy organization in service of the party, while the law on national intelligence, Article 7, states that any organization or citizen must legally support, assist, and coordinate with national intelligence efforts. Any person can hence be forced into spying for the party to protect the control of the regime. 可见中共对国家的绑架、政府的挟持，真可谓登峰造极。奴役人民的程度是史无前例的，手段之残酷是令人发指的。人民对此怨声载道，却控告无门。You can see the extent to which the Communist Party has kidnapped the nation. And coerce the government. The degree to which people have been thus enslaved is unprecedented. The cruelty of the methods employed make people tear their hair out with anger. There is simply nowhere to turn to address these grievances. 不仅如此，中共通过大外宣对民主国家的学术界、媒体、商业公司、政府等进行渗透腐蚀。破坏我们的自由生活，中共还收买小独裁政权，在联合国拉帮结伙，挑战普世价值，破坏国际文明秩序。What's more, the CCP has initiated a program of outward-facing influence, through which it has infiltrated things like academia, media, businesses, and politics of democratic nations to degrade our free way of life. The CCP has also bought off smaller dictatorships, creating alliances in the UN to challenge universal values and destroy the civilized international order. 听了我的经历，看了中共武装的牙齿，朋友们会绝望的问：如果是监控无处不在的现在，我还能否成功的逃出来？中国的民主。还有希望吗？答案是肯定的。Hearing my story and seeing how the CCP has armed itself to the teeth, people might feel despair and wonder whether I would still be able to escape today. Is there hope for democracy in China? I give a positive yes. 事实上，中共一直在全国各地不断加装摄像头，打造天眼工程。据说快达到两亿个，而且还在增加。多年来，中共不断靠利用民主国家开发的现代人工智能技术，打造的面部识别和动态识别等系统支持的天眼工程，来监控人民，打击人权捍卫者，扼杀民权运动，防止中国实现民主。<clears throat> Since I left China, the CCP has built what it's calling the Sky Eye system. This melds over 200 million surveillance cameras throughout the country, together with artificial intelligence systems from Western countries, such as facial recognition and <clears throat> movement recognition, for the purpose of tracking and controlling the Chinese people and controlling democratic movements in China. 据说不久前，中科院的自动化研究所开发出名叫“水滴慧眼”的步态识别系统，能弥补人脸识别系统的显示器中通常人脸模糊、难以识别的缺点。这些若没有西方科技公司的帮助，中共不可能做到。According to reports. <coughs> The Chinese Scientific Institute's Center on Automation, 
rolled out a movement recognition system that it's calling Water Drop Intelligent Eye. Apparently, it has an archive of movements, as well as movement recognition data and search capabilities. It can share massive amounts of this data to supplement the problems of clarity in the facial recognition system. Without the participation of Western high-tech companies, the CCP would not be able to do this. Google,IBM和这个叫 American companies are helping the CCP build a nationwide surveillance system. According to the Langia Net report, Google, IBM, and Linux have collaborated to establish an open strength foundation to assist the Shenzhen-based Hengyang company in creating surveillance processing machines which can simultaneously monitor, monitor hundreds of millions of accounts. Hengyang has <clears throat> then sold this to the CCP's national security system to track the Chinese people. The Langia Net also reports that IBM has collaborated with CCP-affiliated Hengyang and Chaoji Jujian companies via the cloud. Gokajid 加大了人民反抗暴政争取自由捍卫人权的难度Technology should be for the benefit of humanity, but some multinational tech companies are partnering with this violent regime, motivated by short-term or other interests, or some possibly not aware of what they were doing, and they're becoming the accomplices of the dictatorship. These methods, although sometimes resulting in short-term gains, result in the long-term in self-inflicted harm. Any resource, if it is in the hands of a bad person, will result in bad things. Artificial intelligence, if it falls in the hands of dictatorships, will become that much more dangerous. Google, 帮凶禁止利用人工智能侵犯人权
用来阻止人类的发展进步。Institutions like Purdue University and companies like Google and Apple are extremely important in the world of high technology, but they should not allow themselves to unwittingly become the accomplices of the CCP dictatorship and need to guard against the dictatorship <coughs> acquiring high tech as fiercely as nuclear weapons technology is guarded from the hands of terrorists. Otherwise, the CCP will use this to monitor and control the people, or will transfer this technology to other dictatorial regimes to protect, protect other cannibalistic regimes. I strongly call on leaders of democratic nations to establish laws to prevent technology from falling into the hands of these regimes where it will be used to revert the progress of humanity. 中共在我们村前为我们一家专门建了一个私人监狱 when I was under house arrest, the CCP had begun transforming the home I had used as a newlywed into a private jail for me and my family, with bars extending from the roof into the concrete floor. Later, once I had escaped, they began planning an electrified netting that would have covered our entire yard, expecting that I would have been recaptured after I fled to Beijing. 现在中共对整个国家实行网格化的管控，监控无处不在。公民还有逃脱中共魔爪的可能性吗？Today, the party is creating a virtual electrified network to cover the entire nation. Can anyone escape the claws of this regime? 我认为仍然可以成功。虽然难度。会非常的大在智慧上超越中共，就一定能找到克敌制胜的路径。追求自由是人的天性。我想压力越大，反抗就越强。I believe it is possible to succeed in this. Of course, it is extremely difficult. The vast surveillance network is indeed a blow to the democracy movement and is a huge weight on the people's psychological well-being. However, I believe that what determines outcomes is people. As long as you have confidence and determination and know that justice is on your side and you thirst for freedom, you will find the path to overcome your enemies. The quest for freedom is innate within all of us. Ring 是保障个体自由言论自由与人权的最有效方法与共匪一刻不停地抗争着 
站在一起。China's transformation is now taking place by the thousands of regular people taking unusual action. People realize that ending authoritarian systems will cut off the root of the never-ending cycles of hardship that have befallen the Chinese people. Building a constitutional democratic system with balances of power, moving towards rule of law and a just society, using structures to ensure freedoms and human rights, will protect social justice, individual freedoms, and respect in the best way possible. Sons and daughters of China are fighting every minute for freedom and ask that the American people stand with us. 为了子孙后代免受人类公敌、共产专制独裁的奴役，让我们携手自由的勇往直前，把共产专制丢进历史的灰烬吧！没有什么不可能。谢谢大家。To give our grandchildren and future generations a chance to live free of harms from communist dictatorship, please take hands together and bravely stride forth to throw the communist authoritarians in the waste heap of history. Nothing is impossible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can take some questions. Hmm? <coughs> oh, you give them, ma? Or is it? Or is it? They just directly say? Just oh, okay. How about you? Oh. Do you need to use this microphone? Just talk loud. Okay. Um, so first of all, I'd like to express my empathy for your tragic story. Just, um, and I'm glad that you're here. 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 So the question is, well, let me, let me rephrase my um, question. Um, you know, it seems that your, your, thing, your main thing is that the China state is fundamentally a tyranny and is evil. Uh, that oppresses humanity and, um, and the Chinese people as a whole. Um, but if, if, the, if, the, if the party and the government has kidnapped the China as a whole country and it oppresses its people, how does it make sense that um, as of, this is the data from 2016 from uh, World Bank and also uh, from CIA website, um, that in China uh, currently there are, there are only uh, let me, let me my, uh, sorry, there are only 3.1% of people <coughs> who, are living, who are living under uh, the national poverty line, while compared to some other countries like Australia, Canada, Denmark, France, or Germany, India, Mexico, Switzerland, United Kingdom, and United States are all above 10%, while uh, India has 20%. Of uh, population who are currently living under the poverty, uh, national poverty line, or, which is actually more interesting because India and China both sort of started as an independent country near the uh, late 1940s, and India is a pretty much a um, typical UK-style parliamentary uh, political system, and now if China as a um, authoritarian regime who oppresses everything, how is, does it make sense that India currently today is sort of lagging behind China? Is that your question? Yes. <laughs> how, 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 do you, how do you justify uh, these facts? How do you justify 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 these facts? 在中国现在的状况下，中国自己公布的这个贫穷人数也远远不是这样一个数字。那么，在中国实际上现在普通百姓的实际生活状况，我们每天都在交流中。别说这样一个数字，那么就算是普通老百姓现在的这个国家税务部门所公布的人均纯收入，那都是假的，至少扩大了八到十倍。这个我们曾经在中国有过专门的调查，而且共产党还说。中国的残疾人
啊，百分之九十以上都有工作，但这显然是一个谎言，所以我我觉得这个数字肯定是有问题。Well, I, I, can, can I, can I? These are publicly accessible data you can have access to. 嗯哼。I don't. First of all, I don't agree with your the your data. I think that it's it's likely false, no matter, you know, it it where you're saying that it's coming from. Every day I'm talking to people in China, and I know. That there's no way that, that that those numbers reflect the reality in China. I think it's um, in even in looking at the numbers that that China puts out. It, I think the reality is more like eight to ten times. Uh, 八到十倍就是对，八到十倍就是中共的这些数据。Mm -hmm. The reality is more like eight to ten times、uh, greater than what the CCP is saying.、Um, in another instance of of that kind of、um, fabrication of numbers. The Communist Party has, is typically saying that、um, 90% of disabled people in China are employed, and I know for a fact that that's absolutely bogus. There is a basic fact that China has more than one-third of the population. The population of China is now about 600 square miles. If you tell me that the population of China is about 600 square miles, what can they do to achieve such a large income? What can they do? They can sell rice. 最好的土地八百斤产量，卖的几毛钱一斤，怎么会出来这些钱 ？Um, and one thing I can say that that is true about data like this is that over fifty percent of the Chinese population is um is now not rural. 你说就是百分之超过百分之五十，超过百分之五十是的，农民是哦。Um, more than fifty percent of the population is、uh, a rural population, and this is because of the uh, the um, the amount of land. You know, make it into. 不到六百平方米，不到六百平方米。农民。对。Rural people have、uh, are allotted six hundred、uh, square meters of land, and if、uh, if each person were allotted that amount of land, what would they be planting? Next question. Hello, Hendo. Mm-hmm. Hi, Mr. Chen. I really appreciate this talk. Thank you. And just now you say you start like you are talking about positive opinion on the future development of China's democracy, but I'm not so optimistic because, as we all know, that Chinese government and CCP are both fighting on the issues on the youngsters. Even from the kindergarten, mm -hmm. the youngsters and the mm -hmm. child are educated to love the country, to love the society. And so, you know,、mm -hmm. uh, we we are lucky Chinese students like、uh, me. I have the opportunity、uh -huh. to study abroad、mm -hmm. in Purdue, but most、uh -huh. of the Chinese have have no such chances to study abroad. Mm -hmm. They are living in China. If they、mm -hmm. express their objective, but、uh -huh. their objection, they would be prosecuted.、Uh -huh. So I think it's、mm -hmm. not optimistic、uh, mm -hmm. to to develop the democracy.、Mm -hmm. So I want I wonder if you can tell me how、mm -hmm. how people living in China to behave. They are in dangerous. They can't express their objection. So、uh, I think the democracy in Myanmar cannot be developed. Thank you. Oh, I first of all, I ask you. Ah, ah. Nine, nine years ago, you have you ever thought that Soviet Union would fall? Well, did you expect that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You have to wait for me to translate first, because、yeah. otherwise nobody knows what you're saying.、Um, I, I, I want to ask you a question, which is, in, in the 1990, would you have expected that the Soviet Union would have、uh, disintegrated? So, actually, China now sees the media and the opposition to the Communist Party is all fakes. I can give you two examples. The first example is the American Embassy. At the time, the news about the Chinese trade war was released. After that, 美国大使馆在微博上公布消息，在短短的时间内出现了七百二十六条留言，那么中共赶快把它删掉了七百一十三条，只留下十三条。
um, uh, what uh, information that the party is sending out about the situation in China is not true. And I can give you, um, and the things that people are seeing about information in China is not true. I can give you an example. One comes from the, uh, the website of the American Embassy in Beijing. Um, uh, when the American Embassy announced some uh, terms of the, the uh, trade war with China on the website, there were very quickly appeared uh, 726 comments. And, and, and very quickly, and, and, um, and almost immediately, 713 of those were deleted. And, and so there were only uh, you know, over a dozen that were remaining. And what, oh, the, the content of those remaining on the website, I think everybody can probably guess. And these kinds of examples online are, are very prevalent in China. And so I think it, it shows that um, you have to look deeper to find the reality of what's going on in China. Yes. Can you comment on the situation in Hong Kong and the protests and the demonstration? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 他无法忍受长期以来,尤其是从2003年这个第就是国安法第23条被50万人上街抗议游行,无条件搁置以后,中共对于香港这种温水煮青蛙式的这种渗透和控制,以至于到最后发展到把这些出版商全部绑架到中
Everybody knows that Purdue is famous for its engineering, and as engineers, we uh, we found problem and then we solve them. So based on your lecture, you said that there are many people who do not have freedom and human, mm -hmm. basic human rights in China. So do you have any plan of solving this problem, like to have a revolution or rebellion in China, or have any problem, have any solutions to help Chinese people to get the basic rights? Mm -hmm. Uh,我觉得有两个方面，一个就是加强中国人的反专制的能力，另一个就是削弱专制政权控制人民的能力。Um, yeah, there are two ways. One is to strengthen uh, the ability of people to get online and get information, and the other one is to weaken the uh, the ability of the the strength of the party in oppressing people. 关于削弱专制控制人民的能力，我刚才在已经讲了，就是要立法禁止这种高科技被中共用来监控人民。And uh, regarding the second point, um, I just in my lecture talked about uh, establishing laws to prevent technology from being transferred to authoritarian countries. 另一个方面就是开发出很好的这个破网软件，给中国人民真正的获取信息的自由。and another way is to uh, develop technologies, uh, software that will allow Chinese people to get over the firewall and to get information much more easily. 对，在这个全世界，我不相信我能找到一个人，他不希望有自由，他不希望自由获得信息。我想这样的人可能很难找，正常人哈，当然你说病人不好说。I think if the if you look the whole world over, I don't think you'll find one person that doesn't want to have more uh, information and have more freedom. You know, any anybody would want that, except for maybe sick people. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so what you said was really um, So. I want to ask you a question about, you know, like there are, as you said, there's like 1% of the wealthy who sent the kids to mm -hmm. the United States for the college study. And uh, it seems like their ideologies, most of them, not all of them, and some of them, are very different than, than, than yours, or even a lot of us here. Uh, it seems like we're living in a parallel universe. Sorry, what do you mean by that? Like, this technology? Uh, ideology. Oh, ideology. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Ideology is very different than, than yours. Uh, there are a lot of people here in the United States. What would be some of the things that you would recommend me or us to better communicate with those who have very different ideologies? <laughs> Uh, 在人的基本的一些理念上，我不认为人有那么大的差距。当然，有时候人装睡啊，你没办法。I <笑> don't think actually that um at a kind of basic level that our as human beings are we have really that much of a difference in our in our ideas. 呃，庄子曾经有句话说：“井蛙不可以与海者也，居于虚也。” 那么也就是说，井里的青蛙它不知道，你不能跟它谈大海，因为它就生活在那个环境中。但是你如果你如果真正让它明白，你就把它扔进海里就行了。嗯，呃，呃，the um, uh, uh, ancient uh, philosopher from ancient China, Zhuangzi, said that um, a, a frog living in a well in a village is not going to understand the ocean, what the ocean is. But uh, if you just take the frog and throw it in the ocean, it's going to get it. <笑>所以呢我觉得如果他不是装睡真正是真正是糊涂的话他有足够的信息他会明白但是如果这个东西他很清楚那样做就是他的利益所在他本身就来自这样一个利益集团他当然维护的是他的家族和个人的利益因为
place, then they're not really, you're not really talking about the same thing. And the kind of a person from a privileged background is going to be wanting to protect um, his or her own uh, interests. So it's not from a place of, of wanting to fight for justice. Okay. And that is, um, what can, is there anything else that U.S. people can do to support um, mm -hmm. Chinese people for freedom? Um, who may, if we don't have technical skills or we don't have, um, you know, special abilities to affect the sale of technology, so mm -hmm. what should we do? Okay. okay. Oh. 很好的问题, 嗯, good question. <笑> yeah, 我觉得有一点，我提醒大家，我来到美国之后就推动美国国会立了一个，就是说扩展把这个马格尼斯基人权法扩展到全球。I have a, an example. Uh, when I first came to America, I uh, quickly uh, got in touch with Congress to try to. Um, urged them to expand the Magnitsky Act to cover the entire world. And there is uh, one of the realities in the world is that um, a lot of uh, CCP members and the CCP in general is always um, uh, cursing America and saying terrible things about America, but then these same people will be lining up to move to America. <laughs> so they're singing the song of uh, you know, socialism is great, but then they're running towards capitalism, the arms of capitalism. And they're taking their uh, their ill-gotten wealth and sending it to America. This,呃,Magnitsky人权法就是说，如果这些官员他在中国做迫害人权的事情，违反国际法人权宪章的事情，美国可以用这个法律来禁止他到美国来，来冻结他在美国的资产。and the Global Magnitsky Act says that if uh, there are corrupt officials who are violating human rights, uh, then the, we can, the U.S. can use its law to prohibit those people from coming to the America and from sending their capital here. 对, if these people continue to do evil <coughs> things, this is a very good method. So that sounds taking legal actions in a democracy. Yeah. Uh, over there, yeah, uh, black suit. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much for coming, guys. Um, thank you. I was wondering if you could speak to the persecution of the Uyghurs, uh, the Muslim minority in, in China, and what technology specifically has enabled that persecution at such a large scale. <laughs> Uh,我觉得这个呢,怎么说呢,这种监控在新疆还是非常严重的,当然我们也看到有人甚至到现在去新疆都要被检查手机,检查各种各样的信息。the situation in Xinjiang is, is extremely serious right now, the, the Uyghurs, um, especially in relation to the surveillance system. It, it, now people who are going into Xinjiang will be, will be checked and their phones will be taken and, and software will be put on their phones. Um, I think one way to approach it is, is to look at it from a legal perspective. Um, there's nowhere in the, in the legal code that says that any of this should be allowed to happen. So what China, the Chinese Communist Party is doing right now is completely illegal. And in the legal code, there's a law that uh, against um, breaking 
there's a law against breaking the law, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's a crime. <laughs> so we need to, to hold them accountable under this law. 在中国的宪法当中，很清楚地写着中国人民有信仰的自由。There's a—it's very clear in the Constitution, clearly stated that the Chinese people have the right to religious freedom. 对，但是呢，现实当中我们看到，不管是基督教教堂被强拆，还是这个新疆发生的事情，以及西西藏发生的这些事情，大家都非常明显的看到这个宪法是显然是被共产党自己践踏了。uh, but in reality, what we're seeing is that in, in practice, all of that can be thrown out, whether it's um, Christians uh, who are persecuted and their, their churches are torn down, um, or it's what's happening in, um, in Tibet or in Xinjiang. The Communist Party can just uh, rip up its own laws. So to so I don't think we should be in a place where we're thinking about, well, if you have a headache, let's just look at your head. If your foot hurts, we'll just look at your foot. To think of it from a, a sort of a, a complete um, holistic point of view. Um, we can't think of it as, uh, you know, if... Uh, if uh, Muslims are being persecuted, we have to talk about that. If, or if, if churches are being torn down, we talk about um, Christians or, or Tibetans. We, we need to look at it from a, a larger perspective. Um, the, in 1998, uh, China signed on to the international agreement on... Uh, 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 civil uh, rights and political rights, an uh, international agreement on civil and, and political rights. But to this day, it has not put, those into, put that into practice. I think we should consider that if uh, the Chinese Communist Party does not follow the international agreements that it has signed on to, that it should leave the UN. 从这个根本上来解决专制对于这个人民的迫害，对于全球的这个文明秩序的破坏。And um, I think we need to resolve this issue from a fundamental level, uh, where um, uh, people's rights are being abused and people are being oppressed. Okay,下一个问题。Okay, uh, the hope, yeah, in the back. Hello. 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 Um, I, I've already talked a little bit about that. Um, that one of the reasons is that a lot of these people that you're talking about come from privileged classes. They come from the Communist Party membership. 对，另外一个呢，就是说，啊，美国人现在也还有希望美国实现共产主义的。你说这个奇怪不奇怪？The other thing is that is because there are still uh, Americans who hope for hope to see um, communism becoming a reality. 对，所以呢，我觉得最主要的是中国多数人民希望的是什么？ 至于说个别人的一些表现，我觉得有时候是可以忽略的。I think the most important thing is to think about what the Chinese, what do Chinese people want? Sometimes individuals, you know, the actions are, you can kind of overlook what individual people are doing. 对，有有的人一个大五毛，可能朋友们也知道，在中国啊，他当时说。
，然后他说：“我反美式工作，我，我一我我这个居美式生活。” I think some of you may have heard the story about there is a, a big 50 center, somebody who's paid to write comments on behalf of the Communist Party. Um, and he was known for you know, being, saying all kinds of bad things about America. And then suddenly one day he moved to America and people online asked him why he'd done this. And he said, well, um, cursing America was my job. Um, living in America is about my life. <laughs> so sometimes you don't need to pay too much attention to what some of these people are saying. 对, 除非他移民到北朝鲜, 你, 你才相信他是真心的. Unless that person is moving to North Korea, then you can really believe them. <laughs> okay, next question. Oh. Um, hi, yeah, thank you for being here. Uh, so I have two questions. The first one is, um, based on this, you think they can go to China for many years, uh, you probably know that uh, Yeah, I think a lot of people who are still joining the Communist Party are doing it because of the benefits, not because they actually believe in the party. They're seeing that maybe the, the best possible route is to become a, um, a, a party and uh, 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 develop off of the uh, benefit from the, the blood and the sweat of the Chinese people and then live in America um, off the, of that money and drive a nice car. That's maybe what people are, a lot of people are thinking is the best. Route. And in China, most of the, the, the resources are, are monopolized by the Communist Party. So in order to have any part in that, the only way forward is to join the party. 在国际社会，我们都知道这个党派的钱，你是要花自己的党费的，你是不能花国库的。可是在中国，共产党国库就是党库，他想怎么花就怎么花，谁都没有办法制约他。Most people know outside of China and other countries, what the party does has to be paid for by the party itself. It's not paid for by in the national from the national coffers, but in China, it's the 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 party. Uses money that it belongs to the nations from the nation's coffers. So when you become part of the Chinese Communist Party, your opportunities uh, grow. <laughs> okay, thank you. Next question over there. Mm-hmm. 
，他就是中国国内体制内自己专门研究中国的 GDP 的一个学者。他在公开的一个视频当中讲了中国的 GDP 增长率只有百分之十一一点六九，好像这样一个数字。其实你如果注意去找这样的信息，是并不难找到。而且呢，这个数据后来它的包括它的这个视频讲座很快就被中共删掉了，但是互联网是有记忆的。嗯、um, ，there are actually there are a lot of resources to to look at. Um, there is a, a an academic not long ago recently who named Xiang Songsu, who was researching、uh, GDP information. Um, and there was a video that went up online about it, and he said that the GDP was only going up by about 1.69 percent. Um. And if it is possible to find information on this,、um, however, the video was very quickly taken down. Good. Last question. Okay. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about the Chinese Constitution. Will surpass China in population or is not from India?、Uh, yeah, can you stay to the question? Yes,、uh, I ask the question. I have two things to say. I have one comment to make and one、uh, question to ask.、Uh, my comment is that、uh, we accept as Indians that there might be a great income disparity、uh, between poor and rich, but at least、uh, we can send our prime minister home if the government doesn't work and、uh, let the minorities function. In the country peacefully, and many other things that come under freedom given by the、uh, Constitution of India. My question is about: uh, uh, We are always interested in knowing about what is happening inside、uh, China because we also share many conflicts, a border conflict. So, what are some of the news sources that we can use to understand about the situation, especially in the Regions of Tibet and、uh, Chinese Indian borders. Ah, I think that actually there are many different sources. First of all, many foreigners come to China, mostly from the big cities like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangdong, and Shenzhen, and go. 基本上就是说，真正到中国的农村去了解中国农村人实际生活状况的这样这样的人，外国人并不多。Um, there are many paths to find out more information. Um, there are a lot of people, foreigners who go to China. Most of them tend to go to big cities like Shanghai or Beijing, and you know they go around a little bit and then they leave. 所以呢，在要想真正了解中国，我觉得接触中国的农村，甚至去了解一些。中国的这种 NGO 在两千年左右的时候对农村的一些调查报告，反而会非常有帮助。I, I think if you really want to understand what's happening in China, you have to go to rural areas and and look at, at what's happening there.、Um, and there were、uh, NGOs in China who were、uh, working before the two, year 2000 who did some really great reports. 当然，现在呢，这些数据由于后来中共看到这个 NGO 对中国在中国民间社会的发展以后呢，它就有了一个这个叫民间团体的管理法，就对这个东西对这个有了非常大的限制。现在基本上在国内 NGO 就没有办法开展工作。And of course, because of, of that data that was coming out, the Chinese Communist Party decided they didn't,、uh, and the, the influence that, that was having on society, they wanted to put an end to the work that NGOs were doing,、um, and they made a law to limit. The work that NGOs can do, and it's put a,、uh, a major damper on on the ability of NGOs to operate in China. 对，当年清华大学的 NGO 研究所的王明教授曾经做过一个这方面的调查，啊，他在向美国啊向日本政府索取他们社会的一些这方面的数据的时候，很快美国的和这个日本的这个政府就把他们各地的一些数据就传给他。但是他自己在中国国内开展这样调查的时候，他亲口给我讲，就遇到非常非常大的阻力。And there was a, a professor at, at Tsinghua University who was doing, looking into some of these issues and doing some comparisons. And、uh, he wanted to get some information from Japan. 
and made some calls very quickly, got that the information that he needed, but then we tried to get the same information from the Chinese side, he, there were walls that immediately put up. So if, if, the, um, if the, the numbers are correct, then why would they be worried about somebody doing an investigation, doing research? So the people online have a saying about uh, the Chinese Communist Party, which is, um, it, it, with regard to what they're saying, don't believe anything, even the, the punctuation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for our speaker. And our <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And also thank you uh, to our translator, uh, Ms. Miu. And thank you all for your participation. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>